Whoa, we're definitely not in Montana anymore. Space crab, man, shoot it, shoot it, please! Millions of miles away from the farms of Hope County, Lost on Mars puts you in the shoes of everyone's favorite fighter pilot, Nick Rye. This is Nick Rye here. Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? When Nick gets a call from his old buddy Herc, it's clear that something's not right. Herc! What the hell is going on? Before he realizes what's happening, Nick is beamed up and finds himself waking up on Mars. Herc, where are you? Relax, man. Everything's fine. Turns out, Herc's got himself all torn up about something. Literally. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. His body's been split into 12 different pieces, and it's up to you to do your best impression of all the King's men and put Humpty Herky back together again. Fortunately, you'll be able to take Herc's disembodied head along for the ride in the shell of an old robot. Together, the two form Robot, who will act as your permanent gun for hire during your time on Mars. Herc's not your only problem on Mars. A race of alien arachnids infest the planet, and they're plotting a takeover of Earth. Luckily, Lost on Mars gives you access to an entirely new armory of alien weapons to keep the arachnids at bay. Trading in conventional ammo for cooldowns, Martian weapons come in all the classic varieties like pistols, rifles, and shotguns, but also include more exotic fare like the Power Glove, which lets you punch arachnid aliens to death, the Morphinator, which turns arachnids into explosive cows, and the Chicken Aid, which spawns an explosive chicken that attracts nearby enemies. While you can shoot arachnids until the cows come home, or blow up, your only chance of stopping them for good is by restoring the defensive functions of an AI named Anne. Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. Getting Anne up and running again means you'll have to collect energy cores and use them to restore power to 19 antennas all around the planet. Accessing these antennas will require you to leap from one floating platform to the next. Luckily, you'll have your gravity belt, a device that acts like a jetpack and lets you climb tall structures and cover giant distances in a single leap. All this added verticality and mobility comes in handy, given that the local Martian fauna wants nothing more than to eat you alive. The arachnid enemies on Mars are some of Far Cry's toughest foes. It's a good thing then that the weak spots on their back open them up to fire from above. Use your gravity belt to get yourself airborne, and you can take them out from the sky. You're doing great, keep it up! Mars is filled with various types of arachnid enemies, including tanky heavies, self-destructing minis, flying arachnids, and deadly queens. Queens offer up some of the most difficult fights, but take them out and you'll be rewarded with some juicy resources. Yeah! Nice job, man! One-two punch, your queen never stood a chance. The Martian landscape is made up of rocky terrain and large swaths of dirt. But be careful where you step. Arachnids are pretty good at burrowing. And if they detect you walking on dirt, they'll pop up right from under you and attempt to eat your face off. While Mars is the epitome of a far cry from Hope County, players will be able to make some psychedelic trips back to Nick's hometown by exploring geysers on the red planet. Man, this is trippy. Geysers transport you to a twisted version of Montana, allowing Nick to finally get some closure on an old enemy of his, John Seed. Take that, John Seed! Lost on Mars is available today. And if you already own the season pass, you have everything you need to stop the arachnid invasion. For more on Far Cry 5, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out news.ubisoft.com.